All right guys, so I installed the intercooler and I think we're gonna have to cut these plastic trim because it blocks the intercooler. I messed up with the stencil here. It's too high up. When I put the bumper on, I test fitted it. It gets covered. I bought some uh, acetone, scotch pads or whatever you want to call these. I'm gonna try to remove that and I'm gonna repaint it if I'm not able to successfully remove all the paint and then I'll just do another coat of the PR. RL stencil. Camera did die yesterday. I was fighting this intercooler. So the trick is to have it all assembled first and then stick it in there. Cause if you do it in part, like this one connects to the turbo. If you do it in pieces, you will not be able to put these in here because it's so difficult because it goes on so tight and make sure you guys put on bands whatever you want to call these before you tie in everything or put everything together i forgot to do that this and make sure this longer side right here of the piping goes the one that goes over the top and then this one the shorter piece goes on the bottom i did the mistake of not knowing the direction so i put that on backwards and uh, it was just a mess and it was giving me a hard time i'm gonna go ahead and remove the intercooler again i'm gonna go ahead and trim those after that, I'm going to clean it up, remove that paint, and re-stencil it again, I guess. And then I'll put this pipe back on, and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to remove that paint from the intercooler using some acetone and some of these pads. See how it goes. Guys, so it's coming off. PRL logo is off. I'm just gonna wet this with like a little bit of water and soap and I'll clean it one last time just to make sure the new spray paint goes on there good. guys so that's all right guys so i repainted the stencil what do you want to call it should be dry take it off okay no guys i painted it backwards all right guys hopefully third time's the charm I'm tired of doing this i just want to go home it's my clothes all right, guys, hopefully this is the last. <gasps> Time I have to do this. <gasps> All right, guys. Let's see. Should we go to the boat?
Hey guys, she's almost in. Okay. Alright guys, the charge pipe is in. All you gotta do is tighten it. Alright guys, just gotta go tighten it now. Alright guys, that should be good. So that's off. I have to cut that off for the inner cooler. All right, guys, so that's off. I cut this piece off and this piece off. That should be good.
Oh gosh, I was fighting it. But it's in guys, it looks good. All right guys, let's take a quick break. All right guys, so the intercooler is all installed. Truck pipes, intercooler, everything's good to go. All that left is to button up everything. I'll tell you guys, easiest way to install the charge pipes is to have them connected and um, kind of set them up in the angle and direction they go in and then feed them all in through and then tighten them up afterwards. Um, that's the only way. You can't really install them in pieces and in parts because it's really hard to get them in there. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. And I did use a little bit of lubricant lubricant on the inside, just a little bit on the inside and on the outside to get this to help slide in. And then also in on this side as well. And as for this part, this one, I was able to do it in parts. So I did this one first, then this in there. And then I put in all the vacuum lines and then I did the sensors. And then after that, I plugged everything in. I bolted this on. This is the part that I painted. I think it came out pretty nice. Um, it was kind of wet, so this little thing scratched it, but it's not very noticeable. And then after that, make sure this is already, and I tightened this as well. I did, I did this side in parts. This side was easier to do in parts. And then this side over here, put everything together first and then tighten it down. Um, Cause it's harder to assemble this side, but yeah guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here I'll catch you guys on the next one. See you later, dude